Okay all, this is a tutorial on how to download the Electrum Bitcoin wallet or client. Now it's described as a lightweight Bitcoin client. So this wallet uh, does not need to download the entire Bitcoin blockchain like the more heavyweight wallets do like the Bitcoin QT client. So this is a lightweight Bitcoin client and this page is the electrum.org uh, page home page so we'll go to the download section so here we are in the download section and there are various places to download here so if you have a PC you might want to download this one here I will be downloading this one here this file takes just a couple of minutes to download and this is what it will look like on your Macintosh. Um, it's located in the downloads section for me uh, but it may be elsewhere on the PC but uh, either way just locate it and double click on it to open it up. This is the Electrum icon and I've got it located in my applications area on my Macintosh. Uh, I've already got this program so I'll open the program up. As you open the Electrum Bitcoin wallet up you will come across this window here and it's it's telling you that uh, Electrum could not find an existing wallet so this is the first time you're op opening it up. Now uh, it says uh, did you use Electrum before and want to restore a previous wallet or is this your first time and do you want to create a new wallet? So you can see here that you can restore a previous wallet and you can do that by either using the seed or using the master public key. Uh, for the sake of this video we'll just use the seed, we'll look at that. So for our purposes right now we'll uh, choose create new wallet and go from there. The next window to pop up is this window and it has the seed in it, the wallet seed. Now this is uh, pretty much your private key for this wallet. This is the key for only you to see and no one else. So you have this uh, 12 word series here and we'll write this down in a moment plus you have the QR code here which is basically the same information uh, as these words here. So as it says down here please write down or memorize uh, let's leave out memorize here so let's please write down these 12 words order is important this seed will allow you to recover your wallet in case of computer failure. Now just on this for a moment with your bitcoins they're not actually stored on your computer. Your bitcoins are stored in the blockchain. These wallets allow you access to the blockchain and it could be from any computer that's hooked up to the internet. So you could uh, uh, say travel to another country for example get on the internet have your secret uh, uh, code here your seed and um, put it uh, download the Electrum wallet uh, client onto that computer and simply install this uh, seed into that new wallet client and if we look at the window prior we can see the option for that there. So what we'll do right now is we will write down this series of 12 words right here. So you need to write down these 12 words and you need to store them somewhere very very safe because when it comes to your wallet this is not like a bank where the bank uh, looks after your money and, and it costs them a lot of money to do this. Um, and thus you pay bank fees and all the rest of it but in this case you're the one doing the security and this series of words here this seed is the security to your wallet 
So you need to protect this information. You need to write it down, you need to have it written down and put it in several different places and it needs to be safe. Another thing you could do here is do a screenshot also so that you have the QR code but you want to store this off your computer uh, on a memory stick or something or memory sticks. Um, you could also take a photograph of this and keep that photo somewhere but off your computer. So there are different ways of storing this information in case you need to, to revive your wallet. So let's go to next and this is the next window. So what we have to do here is put that seed back in. So we will type it in. They want to know that we have kept that seed. So let's do that right now. So type in your seed and then go to next. This is the next window that pops up and I would it's about connecting with servers. Uh, I would suggest, uh, as they say here, just uh, pick auto connect and then go to next. And the next window that pops up is this one and they're asking you for a password. So I'll put a password in now. Confirm the password and go to OK. Good and press OK. So what you see now is your wallet, your Electrum wallet. In this case, I've labeled it second Electrum wallet because I, I already have uh, another wallet. So uh, we can look at history and as you can see, I have no Bitcoins in this wallet and there is no history. I, I haven't done any transactions yet. Uh, we can look at send here and uh, in this area here, this is where we would put somebody else's Bitcoin address. So we would copy and paste it into this section here. In this description section here, uh, we would write maybe uh, to Tom or to Alice or something like that. Or if it's a purchase for a shirt, it might be uh, shirt, etc. The next, and uh, you can put the amount in here of Bitcoins and so forth we have receive. Now when you get your wallet, you, in this case here we have five addresses here. So these are your, they each start with a one. These are your Bitcoin addresses for this wallet. Now you could just use one of them for, uh, for everything or you might want to use them for different things and uh, you can label, label these so that you might have them designated for a certain thing. So what I'll do now is I'll select this one here and if I double click below label here, I can put a label in here. Now it could be, um, say I'll put donations from YouTube. And uh, these could be donations from people who have looked at my videos and decided that they like them and they want to donate. Uh, Bitcoin to me. Down the bottom of the wallet here we have the little padlock and you can click on that and in here you can change your password. So this this password, now this is the password that you've already put in so you may for security reasons want to change your password and you can do it in here. So uh, that password that you've already put in this has encrypted your wallet. So in this case, we don't want to, to change the password, so I'll just push cancel. Also down here, we have the seed. So I'll click on the seed. Now I can enter my password, so I'll do that again. And push OK. And once again, by using the password, I can have another view of this seed and as you can see it's the same one as before with the same series of words. 
so this is just another way to relook at that seed in case you want to copy it again or something like that. Now we'll close this. You don't want to leave this open. You don't want people to see it. This is my smartphone and on the smartphone I have this application which is a, a wallet and this is the um, mycelium wallet uh, the app, and it's an Android app and what I want to do is send some funds so I've I copied the address from my Electrum wallet uh, to an email and then I've put it on the clipboard uh, on this phone here so I'm going to go to send and I'm going to go to clipboard in this case and here we have the address the recipient address that I want to send it, it to so this is to my Electrum wallet and that's the address there so it wants me to enter in an amount now on the wallet here you have the option of sending an amount of Bitcoin now I live in Australia so I could send some Australian dollars also so what I'll do in this case is I'll send uh, one Australian dollar and uh, that's the equivalent there in Bitcoins so I'll go OK and here we can see the address that I'm sending it to once again and here we can see the amount that I'm sending um, in this case it's in dollars Australian one dollar there and that's the amount the equivalent amount of Bitcoin uh, plus we're going to pay a miners fee for this transaction and that miners fee is nine cents Australian so what I'll do is I will push send now what it wants me to do on my wallet here is put my uh, my secret code in so um, and this means that nobody else on my wallet here can send monies without knowing the code so what I'll do right now is I'll just put that code in And right now it's just broadcast it. Uh, it just broad it's sending that transaction right now and it's just popping up on the screen there. And it says unconfirmed. So that's it. So it takes around 10 minutes for the first confirmation, but uh, basically for everyday use and for such a small amount, it really uh, doesn't matter. Uh, that amount of bitcoins is sent to my Electrum wallet here on the screen. So looking at the screen here uh, that Bitcoin is coming through and if we go to history here uh, we can already see that there is a payment coming through here. Uh, at, at the moment it still gives, still gives the status of pending uh, but we can see the amount right here. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you've learnt something. The main thing is uh, is to look after that seed to protect it um, if your computer goes or it breaks down it, your comp uh, your bitcoins are not kept on that computer uh, they are kept in the blockchain uh, which is sort of spread around the world if you will between all the other computers but only you can get to them but you need that seed so uh, protect the seed and I'll leave it at that uh, you're the security guard for your money and bye for now